Today we're going to create this luggage label window for junk journaling in Canva. So first of all we'll go to elements and in search we'll look for old luggage label. Go to graphics, we're looking for this one here. Now I'm going to turn this slightly and crop off the top part of the label to about there. I'll center it and make it a little bit smaller. Then we'll go to elements and we will find a square. Change the color of the square to red and then go to position and go to layers and put the red square in the background. Then we're going to expand this but use the borders here to keep it the right ratio for the screen. Click on the luggage label again, go to edit, go down to duotone, go to custom and we'll make both of these white. Now we're going to go to share, download, put the quality up a bit and download. Now we'll upload this new image and we'll then expand it to fit over the previous one and we'll remove the background. Now go to position, delete this old red background but leave the luggage label there. Now we're going to go to elements, get some more squares and we're going to put these around the edge. We'll zoom out a bit. We want to crop these in so that they fit the canvas. Now turn all of these new grey ones white. Click back on the red background, go to edit, go down to duotone, go to custom and change it to white. Now go to position, we're going to select everything apart from the original tag down the bottom, right click and click download selection, put the quality up and this time download with a transparent background. Now we can delete these ones, leaving the tag in place upload the new one, fit it to the screen, now click on the tag, go to edit, go down to duotone and click none. Now the next thing we'll do is get some wallpaper that you want to use for your junk journaling and go to position and put that right at the back. Now if you click on the tag, go to transparency, you can take this transparency down, maybe to about here, and now click on the white background, go to edit, go down to shadows, click on glow, we're going to change the glow colour to a brown colour, so we'll go on to red, orange here. Take it to a fairly dark brown colour. Now we'll increase the intensity and the size slightly. And you can change the blur amount too if you want to, but we'll keep it about here at 28. Now take these corners and pull this all the way so that the corners of the background now meet the canvas again and crop these in. Now go to position. At this point you have a choice so we can click on the tag. You can either take the tag out and so the fabric behind looks newer or you can put it back in and keep that as part of your design. So what we're going to do now is to click on the tag, hold down shift and click on the background leave the flowers unselected, right click, download selection, 
click on transparent background and turn up the quality and click download. Now we'll delete these two. We'll upload this new one. And you can see that now we've got this window that you can see fabric behind. So you can choose a different one perhaps just as a test like this. Put this at the front again and you can overlay that one as well. What you can do as well if you want multiple tags is you can crop in like this. You can then duplicate this a few times, maybe four. You'll then need to fill in the gaps with squares again and make sure that in the end the squares are a white colour. So I'll do that quickly now. So we'll make sure that all of these are cropped in round to the edges. And then we'll select these and make sure that all of them are changed to white. Once you've done that, click on one, go to position, select everything other than the materials behind and click download selection and download with a transparent background. You can then delete these bits and upload the new one. And you'll have a window with four tags on rather than just one. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Please do subscribe to the channel to learn more about Canva.